Hey guys, we're gonna go over tomorrow's workout for Thursday the 26th. Now, I like tomorrow's workout because it has three components as if you were in a group class setting, even though you are at home. We're gonna do the strength, conditioning, and then a finisher as well. The strength, we're gonna start off with a superset. You're gonna go between goblet box squats and Russian twists. Now, the rep scheme for the box squats is gonna be 15, 12 to 15 total reps. If you can't do 15, I would just strongly encourage you to do the 15 reps. Now, the biggest focal point with the goblet box squat is you're trying to transfer the weight onto the box. So we don't wanna encourage a tap or touch and go. I want you to break up or segment the exercise. The squat, it's two different parts. The eccentric, which is gonna be that lowering phase going down, transfer your weight all the way to the target, and then the concentric, which is gonna be you standing up straight. And then whenever you're standing up straight, try to work as fast as you can quickly stand up and then come back down. Another little secret that I, that I strongly encourage people who don't have, should I say, as heavy weights as you would be doing in the gym, that eccentric or the lowering phase, if you're doing it for 15 reps, and let's just say you only have you know, a 20 pound dumbbell, which may not be the heaviest, slow down, right? Make it hard. So if you're going down for five seconds and then transferring your load and then standing up fast, you know, by the end of the 15 reps, that weight's gonna feel a lot heavier than just 20 pounds, right? So you can get a lot more bang for your buck if you're working controlled, not necessarily super fast for that strength adaptation. Now for the Russian twist, again, this is gonna be, the whole time you're gonna need to be in a nice hollow position. Your feet should be together off the ground and then we're just twisting back and forth. Every time you throw the dumbbell to one side, that'll be one rep. So you would end up doing 10 on the right, 10 on the left. And again, once you're done, four total rounds, the conditioning is gonna start off four times, 100 dumbbell thrusters. Now the catch is gonna be every minute, on the minute, starting at minute zero, we're gonna do five or eight yoga push-ups or box push-ups. So that can be a box, or sorry, a push-up to a bench, to a box, possibly even a push-up from the knees. The push-up option should take you right around 10 seconds. And you wanna have the majority of the minute to invest on the dumbbell thrusters, right? Chipping away, chipping away. Especially the first three or four minutes, you're gonna get a lot of reps done on the thrusters. After about four or five minutes, you're gonna start to slow down. Your legs are gonna be a little bit tired and not gonna be able to get as big sets on that last few rounds. So a couple of tips. Try to get through 15 or 20 on the first few minutes and then hold back, I would say stop, once that clock is at 50 seconds. So you have about 10 seconds or so of rest so that on the next minute, you can start the push-ups on the dot and then you can keep that same trend going. This workout should not take you more than 10 minutes. If it is, I would strongly encourage you to try to bring back any one of the scaling guides to uh, so make things a little bit easier so that you can get the volume done within that 10 minute mark, all right? Now, the warm up, what I would recommend is two things. For one, make sure you're foam rolling the lower body. We do have a lot of squats today, obviously 100 total thrusters. So I would strongly go over the IT band, the quads, possibly even the hamstrings, the glutes. Make sure that you're all primed and ready to go for all the squatting. And on top of that, I would encourage you to go outside, either walk or jog for about 10 minutes. So that could be you going possibly even for a mile, anything of that nature. But go outside, get some sun. Once you come back inside, we'll be ready to go for the strength, uh, the conditioning. Oh, and the last part, finisher, I did not go over that. That's gonna be a Tabata single leg glute bridge. The finisher can be done obviously after the conditioning. So that's gonna be eight rounds of 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest and you're gonna alternate legs. So for my 20 seconds of work on my first round, I'm gonna do a single leg glute bridge on my left. I'll rest my 10 on the next 20 seconds of work. I'm gonna do a single leg glute bridge on the right and I'm just gonna go back and forth till I complete eight rounds for four per total leg. All right, hey guys, hope you guys enjoy this workout and then have a good day.